I'm Mike Hudson at the Museum of the American Printing House for the Blind in our series of how-to museum workshops for people preserving their treasures at home. Everybody has some documents laying around. It might be photographs, it might be letters that you really want to preserve. You probably got them stuck in the attic. That's probably bad. The secret is it starts with archival materials. We're going to use archival boxes. We're going to use um, archival photograph, clear photograph envelopes, and we're going to use archival folders. Archival meaning that they're acid-free and they're not going to damage our materials being close to them. You can find these materials at a number of companies like Gaylord and Archivart and uh, Hollinger. Um, so say we're dealing with a photograph. If you've got your photographs that are and they're still in the original envelopes that they came from the photo processor, they make these envelopes. They have a pocket for your negatives and then the prints go on the outside and then you've got plenty of room on the outside to write down where they came from. Sometimes though you might have an individual print like this one from 1948 of a embossing press in Japan and that's where these clear folders come in handy. Open it up, take our photograph, put it inside, closes back up, Now you've got it in a nice clear envelope where actually it can actually be handed around. And then when you're not using it, acid-free folder, I'm going to say that a bunch, into the acid-free folder, write the identification on the top, and then it goes into your acid-free box, right? In the case of a catalog, in this case a talking book catalog from the National Library Service from 1948, these folders are really flexible. They have this little kind of accordion pleat at the bottom and you can fold those in a lot of varieties to get the width that you need. In this case our catalog goes right into the folder. It's got a nice flash button and where does it go? That's right, right into your archival box. You might have a letter, you might have an old uh, flyer or a brochure that you want to preserve. In, in this case it is a uh, brochure for the Hall Braille Rider from Harrison and Seifried. Again, we're going to take our folder, we're going to put our artifact inside, nice acid free, label it on the outside, it goes into our box, put our lid on our box and put it into a safe place in our house. By surrounding all of your treasures with archival materials, it'll enable you to pass it down from one generation to the next as unharmed as possible.